Diamonds, diamonds, diamonds! Let's see how many we can get, guys. Oh, just a one. I do hear lava underneath us, so I am going to dig it out. Ooh, some more diamonds. Okay, I think we're safe. I think we're safe. <laughs> and that's why I keep on digging guys you never know wait a minute let's do the safe thing again yep it's good how many times did we get 10 more diamonds OMG 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 um, um, um. let's get rid of the axe we don't need that for now look at that look at that how many uh, diamonds do we have? 76? Not bad, not bad at all. But wait guys, we're not done. Cause... I saw more diamonds. Yep! Let's get out of here. Let's not waste our time with all this. You know what? Uh, get, get out of here. Get out of here. Look at this guys. More diamonds. And I almost fell in there, so let's block this off. Uh, I'm going to do this and this so that I don't fall in. Let's light up the place a bit. And let's do something like this. So that we don't get jumped by any baddies. Okay. We good i think we're good anything down here what another path uh okay this is a dead end more diamonds all right let's go digging a bit let's see if it's safe to dig up those diamonds oh no oh thank god for silk touch what what oh oh yeah this is how the regular diamond ore looks huh i forgot all right, here we go. One, three, four. Ah, that ain't very good. Eight, is that it? Let's keep on digging for a bit. I think that's it. Only eight more, huh? Oh well, oh well. Guys, look what I found! Look what I found! This is called Peridot Ore, guys, and it's kind of rare. No, well, not that rare, but there we go. And we got some Peridot out of that. And Peridot, um,. Well, it doesn't seem like you can do a lot with it, though. But this is the Peridot Ore, Peridot uh, Gem itself, and a block of Peridot, and you can make stuff like this. But the real reason why I want this is to make this. I don't know whether this is included in this mod pack or not, but look at this. This is the Ancient Staff, and if you can build it, you need to build the, each individual component, the Ancient Staff Handle, the ancient staff pole and the ancient staff topper and if you combine these three you'll get the ancient staff and with this you'll be able to go into a magical place called the promised land and in the promised land you can find well these things the amethyst and i want them because these are better than diamond uh well items so this one is better than my diamond sword as well as the armor so yeah I want that I want it I want it I want that so we found our first little piece the parado there are still more items to be found but I'm gonna keep on looking more diamonds so uh, I was kind of done with all the caving and I decided you know what I want to head back home so I started digging uh, eastward 
trying to make a beeline to uh, my home and I came across some more diamonds. Okay, hey, my inventory is good. Let's start digging. Let's see how many diamonds we get. Two, four, eight, ten. Oh, sixteen, sixteen. That was a good one. Anything else? Nope. All right, all right, all right. That's okay. That was a pretty good find. That was a pretty good find. Welcome back, guys. And I've made my way back up. I'm done with the caving. Why? Because we already have 44 levels and we need to enchant some stuff. But before we do that, I want to show you what we got out of that little excavation run. Look at that, guys. 53 blocks of redstone. Uh, some iron, but there's still more iron cooking up. So uh, I'm not quite sure how, how many of that we got. 27 blocks of lapis and nearly two stacks of coal and I turned all of my diamonds into blocks 11 blocks of diamond we are looking good things are looking good so uh, you know what let's not wait around for that let's just place the rest of the iron in there and let's turn them into blocks as well boom let's place that in there there we go there we go so yeah that's a pretty good haul. I'm gonna store it somewhere over there, apparently. Alright, let's get it all out. You know what? I am going to hold on to the iron blocks, though. Oh, yeah, 18 blocks of salt. So I'll put the redstone in here, along with the lapis and the coal. Sure, because if I'm not mistaken, I have all the head in my ender chest as well. So if I need it, I do have access to all of this stuff. You know what? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let's top off the lapis as well, and I will take the excess lapis. Okay, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. The diamond I will keep over here. And what should I do with the gold? We're already over a stack of gold as well. Let's turn it into blocks as well. Oh, and place it in here. Okay, yeah. What else have we got? Nothing. Just a little bit of salt. Oh, wait a minute. The iron, 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 iron. Let's place that in there. Right. Now that we are done with that, let's think about enchanting stuff. Um. There are a couple of things. I've placed down my enchanting table upstairs, but there are a couple of things I want to enchant. These are the items that mm, that I want to enchant. I either want a uh, fortune tree shovel with unbreaking on it, or a, some diamond boots, or let me talk about this guys, a golden helmet. Now you, you might think, why would you want to enchant a golden helmet? Well, the thing about gold is, you've seen it on the zombies or on the, uh, the the mobs. When you wear gold armor, you light up the place. Uh, let me get back down there somewhere dark. See? So, uh, helmet, no helmet. Mm -hmm. This is not a good example. Why is the, this place so lit up? Because I li uh, lit it up myself, huh? You know what? Let's just jump back. Eh. Right. Let's find a nice little dark little... Uh, oops, salt. Um, I might as well mine that with my fortune tree pick. So, yeah, this is pretty dark, right? So... So this is just the without the gold and this is me with the gold. So yeah, I don't need to run around with a torch all the time. And uh, it kind of lights up the place. So that's why I want to enchant a gold helmet. But seeing, seeing as I don't want to, well, 
Although it's fun to have around, I was thinking more about doing the Aquaman thing. Yeah. So here's where I'm thinking a little bit long term, guys. What do we want to do in the well in the upcoming episodes? There are two things we can do. One is we can go around in the Nether. We can start running around and placing, um, well, creating more Nether portals. Um, because if, in case you guys didn't know. The the fast way to travel around in vanilla Minecraft is by using nether portals because let's say you have point A over here and that is like uh, where you are right now if you travel one two three four five well let's say eight blocks over here um, that would mean that this is just a simple example if you want to walk from here over there it would take you well couple of seconds right but let's say it was like 800 blocks away all the way over there it would take you a long time but if you build another portal over here and instead of traveling 800 blocks over there if you travel a hundred blocks in that direction in the nether and build another nether portal you would still pop out in the same location so that means that if you want to travel a distance of 800 blocks in the overworld you only need to travel the distance of 100 blocks in the nether so that's how the nether portal system works so that's one thing about how i could do that now why am i talking about this because i want to make a pretty awesome set of booties so here's what i'm thinking diamond right we want on breaking of course because we wanted it to last as long as uh, possible but we are going to be running around in the nether so i want fire protection on it feather falling is always awesome to have and hmm, hmm, hmm. i think that's it so yeah this is what i'm thinking about that's the first option Uh, the second option is the golden helmet like i said i want to uh, i want to do the aquaman thing especially when you're swimming around and it's dark down there the golden helmet will light up the place pretty good so what i was thinking was on breaking aqua affinity respiration and we even have enough uh, levels to add some protection on it so those are the two choices guys and hmm yeah i'm kind of i don't know what should we do first should we go swimming or should we go uh into the nether you know what guys i think i'm going to make the booties first why because we have 44 levels and it took me a little while to uh get those levels and i don't know how long it'll take me to get enough levels well we only need 26 levels if i'm not mistaken right 26 so unbreaking aqua affinity respiration and protection oh tw yeah 26 levels so mm, yeah let's go with this one uh, well not this one let's go with the booties because feather falling is always good to have. I'm running around all the time, most of the time. So, yeah, let's do that. So feather falling, fire protection, and was that it? Yeah, that's it. Can I place some thorns on it as well? Nope. And the reason I don't want to use thorns is because it uses up some of the durability on your on your armor. So the moment you the thorns. Uh, what do you call it the thorns are used you use a little you lose a little bit of durability on your booties and I don't want that so here we go boom fire protection 4 feather falling 4 and on breaking 3 let's go test it out a bit or should we nah let's not let's not let's I am going to stow away the other where should I place these? You know what, I'm 
just gonna place them in here for now let's put my helmet back on and I'm going to place this in here and that's where it is So our first piece of enchanted armor, Unbreaking 3, Feather Falling 4 and Fire Protection 4. So before we uh, head down into the nether, I am doing a little bit of housekeeping. We need to make some more food because I've been slowly eating away my PB&Js and I haven't even touched my ice cream as you can see over here. But the other thing that we needed to do was to plant a couple of more fruit trees because in our last little expedition we found some new fruits. I've already made a couple of saplings, a banana sapling, the coconut sapling, papaya, mm, pistachio, ooh, pistachio ice cream, and the almonds as well. The only thing that we haven't planted is the walnut because I needed an oak sapling for that. But I, I've got one now. There we go. You know what? Nope, nope, nope. I want the banana trees first. Mm -hmm. Oh, you got an apple out of this. Thank you. All right, all right, banana tree, um, these are my cherry trees, huh? Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. nope, nope, there. Next up, coconuts, yeah, banana and coconuts, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, does it have enough space? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, okay. That's good. All right. Uh, the papaya. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six. Pistachio. Uh, I'm going to place that somewhere in the back. Because I'm only going to use it when I want to make some ice cream. So uh, let's place it over here. Do I have enough space? Yes, I do. One, two, three. Three, four, five, six. Yeah, that should do. The almonds. Mm, what can we make with the almonds? Ooh, mince pie trail mix. Chocolate bars, raisins. Mmm, date nut bread, some milk and some vegetable oil. Um, you can make different kind of stuff with a vegetable oil, like uh, stuff like this and salads. But you can also the vegetable oil can also be made with the uh, kapok toft. And I've been getting a ton of those because I've been uh, harvesting those uh, jungle saplings. And each time you cut down a jungle tree, there is a chance it'll drop some Kapok Toft. And I've got like maybe two stacks of that. So, uh, yeah. I don't think I'll be using the almonds a lot. I was hoping I could make Orchata. I've talked about it in the before because I absolutely love that drink. All right. Um, we planted a pistachio over here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Do I have enough space? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, it should do. And finally, the walnuts. What can we do with the walnuts? Wait a minute. Don't I have a walnut tree? No, these are pecans. Okay, they look kind of similar. What can we make with those brownies? <gasps> Oh, we need vanilla though. We don't have vanilla. Banana nut bread. Baklava. Oh, oh, oh. I want it. I want it. Mince pie. Pineapple upside down cake. Bikini bread. I've never had that before. Walnut raisin bread, candied walnuts again, chocolate and or cocoa and or cinnamon. Hmm. Cinnamon and vanilla. Now we really need to find some vanilla. Date nut bread. Alright, let's just plant it and see what we get out of that. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
So one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, there's enough space between those trees. And that's it for the saplings. Okay. Next up, we need to find. We need to make ourselves some food. What? can what do we want to make guys we can make a lot of stuff um you know what after all this time i still haven't touched my ice cream that's kind of a shame let's uh, combine these bows so that i can do that place it back in there where is it where is it over there don't need the oak sapling all right potion of fire resist because we are making, uh, I'm, I am going to head back into the nether. All right, uh, food. Let's have a look. Should we make some more feasts? We can make some pizzas. Meat feast, pizza, or supreme pizza, rainbow curry. Sausage and bread, epic bacon. Nah, I'm more of a pizza guy. A wholesome feast, hearty, large meal. Let's go with the wholesome uh, supreme pizza. What do we need for that? We need some spice leaves, some bell pepper, and some onions. Not a problem. Uh, how do we make the regular pizza? Okay, we need pork chops, tomatoes, cheese, and dough, and some bakeware, huh? Okay, do we have the bakeware? We do. Alright, let's start with the dough. How many pizzas do we want? Um, let's go with eight. Yeah, that doesn't seem like a lot. Eight pizzas. Okay, how do we make the dough? Flour. Mixing bowl, some water, and some salt. Flour is wheat that you need to grind up. Okay. Do I have a mortar and pestle? We do not. Some stones and a stick. Not a problem. Right. Let's make some sticks. Sticks. One stick. There we go. Let's place it in our uh, crafting bench. Skelly? There's skelly nearby. Alright, we need eight pieces of this tree. Six, eight, perfect. Alright, let's make some flour. Wait a minute. Flour! Okay, what next? Uh, the mixing bowl, right? We need some water, and thankfully we got a buttload of water out of the well all the way in the beginning. Give me eight of these. Okay, now what? So, we needed the mixing bowl. We needed some water. Some salt. Let's place the rest of the salt in there. And I forgot. Wait a minute. Flower, we already got the flower. Flower, of course. There we go. Boom. Do. Got that. Alright, let's get back to the pizza. All right, next up we need some pork chops, some tomatoes, and some cheese. So cheese is the next thing we want. Milk, salt, and a pot. Really, dude? Okay, uh, we need some milk. We have a bucket on us. Good, good, good. Uh, we are going to be needing two buckets of milk. Why? Because we need eight milk in total and two buck Ooh. Two buckets of milk will give us 
eight buckets of fresh milk. That's one. That's two. That's enough. I got scared by that sugar cane for a second. I thought it was a creeper. <laughs> All right, you guys, leave me alone, okay? I'm trying to cook here. All right. Um, butter, 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 butter. Or cheese. Fresh milk, salt, and a pot. Okay, we can do that. Let's get all our ingredients in there. Let's wait a minute. Let's turn this into some fresh milk. There we go. Now we need fresh milk, mixing bowl, and some salt. How come I keep getting it wrong, huh, guys? Fresh milk, salt, and a pot. Oh, a pot. Okay. My bad. Alright. Um, the milk. The salt. Oh, we need more salt. Uh, do I have some? Oh, look at that. Boom. Okay, okay. Pork chop and tomatoes. Half a stack of pork chops. Gonna eat tomatoes, chili pepper, raspberry. Nope, nope, nope. What are those my? Nope, that's not. Where are my tomatoes? Oh, beans. Tomato. Three, six, eight. All we need. Pizza, 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 pizza. Okay, let's put the tomatoes in there. Uh, the pork chops as well. Do we have everything we need? I think so. Here we go. Boom. Pizza. All right. What's next? We need bell pepper, onions, and spice leaf. Huh? Shouldn't be a problem at all. Bell pepper. Spice leaf and that's garlic. Where are my onions? Onion, onion, onion. Nope. Where the heck are my onions? Potatoes. Well, they're okay. Well, let's just get them over here. That should do. Look at all those onions. Okay, okay, okay. So free pizza, let's get that in our crafting bench uh, menu. Bell pepper, spice leaf. We have a cutting board, we have the pizzas. I think we've got it, guys. <gasps> look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. Nom, 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 nom. Oh, good lord, we are set. We are good to go, guys. All right, let's store them in our... Yeah, let's store them in here. Along with the rest of our food. We still have a lot of food on us, though. Okay, okay. Uh, let's get rid of the bones. And I think we are good to go. Yep. Yeah. Okay, let's have a look at our atlas. Where do we want to go? Hmm. We've been down south. We've been west and kind of we've been up north. But we haven't been uh, to the east. So I think that's going to be our goal, guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head into the nether. And we are going to start uh, digging eastward. How come you're not burning up, buddy? Did you drop anything? Nope. 
So yeah, um, yeah, I'm going to head into the Nether, dig eastward about a oh, hundred or two hundred blocks, and I'm going to build another uh, Nether portal over there, and I'll see where we'll pop up. Yeah, that seems like a good idea. So um, I need, I'm going to be needing some flint and steel and obsidian. Obsidian is going to be the main thing. Because because okay we have 20 pieces of obsidian that's good all right yeah yep 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 we won't be needing the fortune tree pickaxe i will be needing some blocks um yeah we got some blocks we can use some nether stone if we need to all right uh, yeah, I think we've made all the preparations, so uh, um, unfortunately this has already been a long episode, so I'm going to cut the episode over here, but in the next one, we're heading back into the nether. We have our uh, protective booties on, so we should be okay-ish. As long as we don't uh, go swimming in the lava, we should be okay. But anyway guys, that's going to do it. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you next time.